Hey guys, welcome to Selenium C hash tutorial with AnyUnit session 3. In today's session, you can learn the importance of test case attribute in AnyUnit. So, as of, learn, as of now, you already learned right how to uh, create multiple test method or multiple test cases, what is the importance of test picture attribute, right? You can, in case you are having some precondition, the post condition, you can add those step into the setup or the tear down method, right? You can, in case you want to run the same test case multiple time, you can use the retry or repeat attribute from the any unit. And in case also you need to ignore a particular test, right? You can use the ignore at the test level or the test picture level. And that is the thing you already learned. But today's session you will learn instead of test, we'll be using test cases and what does it, what is the difference between test and test case as well. So in case you are using a test and you can create a method and that will run right based on the step you are providing. But say in case I want to run the same test with a variety of the data, I want to parameterize the test. So with the test, it is, is it possible? No, it is not possible. So what you need to do, you need to use the test case for so that particular method I can repeat it multiple times with variety of the argument or data. So test case attribute serves the dual purpose of making a method with parameters as a test method and providing inline data to be used when invoking that method. Here is an example of a test being run three times with three different set of data. Suppose say I want to like create a method called add where I'll be adding two integer, integer a and b and I'll be storing in some integer c and I'll be returning that. In case I want to run them one time, that is fine. Right with the help of test, test attribute, I can do it. But in case I want to run it five times, ten times with variety of the data, so you need to use test cases where you need to pass, uh, pass the argument. In case you are having three variable, four variable, so you need to uh, use as a three argument or four argument. So that will map with your variable you are passing into the method. So here two variable, it will pass integer a and integer b respectively. So for the first one, it will be calling 10 and 20, it will sum 10 and 20, it will give you 30 result. For the second, it will call 30 and 40, it will give you 70. And for the third, uh, third uh, iteration, right, uh, with varying of the argument value or the parameters, it will give you 50 plus 60 equal to 110. So that is the way, same method you can run it multiple times with varying the argument value. So user can apply test case attribute multiple times to a method and it will create a new test for every instance passing the parameters from the test case attribute into the test method. Using this user can reduce redundancy of similar type of test or method. So that right in case I need to call the same method again and again and again and I need to pass different parameters so that I don't need to repeat the code and again and again and again. Instead of that similar method I want to invoke it with different variety of the data from the test case attribute in any unit. Let's see how we can use in the real time as well. So this is the any unit training project and uh, created already. And here you could see there are three test cases initially, three test method, test one, test two, test three. With the help of the test one, I want trying to launch the Facebook page. Test two, it will be launching the Google page. And test three, I want to launch the Apple page. And every time I want to write print the title. So it is close to similar kind of uh, right method where I want to pass different URL and I want to get the title of the URL, right? So what now what I will do, I will simply comment out these two other method with the help of the ignore, right? So I have already commented out test one and test three. You could see here this already ignored. So test two, I want to run in case I am running it. So what it will happen? It will only run the test two and it will open the Google page and it will the remaining two test method will be ignored here. But now with that particular one test method, I can invoke all the URL and I can get the current URL title. So I can repeat it the same test case multiple times here. You are seeing the right throttle three test cases executed to ignored and one run. So test method is nothing. But if you go here, you could able to see it is uh, if you go to the last run result. So you could able to see it is invoked for one test cases and it is printing you that. Uh, uh, Google and here you could see test 1 is skipped and test 3 also skipped right now let's close that one and now with the help of the test 2 method I want to write um, run 3 URL I want to open 3 URL I want to get the title what I will do I will simply comment out the test here and here I will be using test cases so if you give third bucket if you type test case you could see that test case will be coming here that attribute is coming from here 
now I want to pass only one URL so what is the URL here the URL when you need to give in the bucket one by one all the URL you can give it so I first I want to open the Facebook right so you within the because it's a string you need to give within the double quote right so now I want to repeat it for couple of number of times right I can open couple of URL so I now want to uh, open Google one that one I want to open I want to open Rediff and I want to open Apple. So instead of three, I can open with four URL, right? With the same test cases. So the test cases will be same, method will be same. And now here, what I need to do, I need to pass the argument, right? Because this is the string, so I'll be passing the argument as string. Maybe I can give any variable name URL, and that variable you can call it here. So you can remove the double quote part and the hard coded value, and you can give the that particular parameter or the argument so now what we'll do same test case it will run same test method it will run test two and url it will whenever it will trying to hit the url it will hit the get the url from the test cases one by one so facebook google ready and apple so now with the help of the test two method i can write open four url facebook google apple and uh, other so that is the way right i can reduce the redundancy in the code in case something need to change otherwise you have to change everywhere but here I, am, I can only change in the one single position and it will definitely give me a lot of uh, kind of time save so in case tomorrow you need to go with this five URL so you can definitely go with that five URL so that not be a problem okay tomorrow if you want to go with three URL you can just simply remove it or comment it out now let's see whether it's working for three URL okay so you can click on the test so only test method 2 will be running test 1 and test 3 will be still ignored if you click on the run so it will be run for test 2 will run for four time you could see here this is four already there because it will try to run for four time first it will open the facebook based on the order then it will run for the google then you could see it will now it will run for the rediff then it will run iterate for the other like last one is the apple so that is the beauty of the test case attribute in any unit so in case you want to invoke the same method with uh, varying the argument value right you can pass it with the help of the test case attribute and you can in the method you can pass this that that, that particular parameter right and you can use it in your actual test so it is trying to open the ready page maybe it is taking a lot of time to load it but after it is loaded successfully it will close the page and it will go for the last page which is the apple So it is taking couple of seconds time to execute. It is still loading. So got executed and Apple it's now executing. Right? So one test case failed because I have forcefully closed it right now you could see here test method 1 and test method 3 got executed and test 2 right it is tried to run for 4 iteration ready got failed because it was not able to launch the page within the time and forcefully executed now what I will do I will comment out the ready because it is taking a lot of time here or I can replace with the other page right so say www instead of ready google facebook any other uh, page maybe you can load it or you can comment it out so that tomorrow in case your requirement is free you can do it that same way now you can save it and you can go to the test and you can go to uh, the test explorer and you can expand it right and you can just try to run it if you click on the run so now it will be your test will run for three times with the three data you could see here automatically is getting changed to three so it will first launch the Facebook page second it will try to launch the google page and third it will try to launch the 
uh, ready uh, sorry apple page and otherwise but test 1 and test 3 will be still ignored so that is the way right you can see the a lot of advantage of using that uh, test case attribute here right apple facebook and google is coming here now if you close it and if you go to the uh, test and if you go to the latest run so you could able to see five test run three passed why it is showing five tests because one test cases you have run it three times with three different variety of the data and you could see here facebook then google and apple is coming as the output and for test two it is being, uh, skipped test three also skipped so that is the way right you can deal with that one now say tomorrow i want to interact with two or more than two uh, argument or like parameter then what can it do now let's comment out uh, the test method 2 okay so what i can do uh, simply here you can give the comment like ignore this method so what we'll do it will completely ignore all the test cases here and now this test method 1 will be running now if you run all you could able to see so that is the way in case you are having multiple test case attribute as well you can simply place the ignore so all your test will be completely ignored right you could see here all these three whatever uh, like data was there in the test cases that argument I am trying to pass all got ignored whereas test one only executed now say test one method I want to execute with the different variety of multiple parameter suppose say I want to open the Facebook page then I want to get the title right then every time I want to right enter so if you open the Facebook page I want to enter some value in the email and password so this is the tool that is the way right you can interact with the multiple uh, parameters right multiple uh, field as well with the multiple argument so now let's inspect with the help of the F12 button the, uh, the uh, element locator for the email and ID field so you could see ID equal to email and so for the password field ID equal to pass so let's try to uh, first identify driver dot find element here by dot id what is the id id equal to email right and here i want to send keys dot send keys so what i'll be doing i'll be parameterizing so here i'll be give something called u name so that is the variable i can give it similar way I can uh, go to the password field I can change the ID to pass for the password field you could see that is the ID equal to pass so I'll be passing it pass and maybe the send keys as the password as the parameter now what you need to do here you need to pass these two argument string u name so that will be matching with here and then comma because this is the that is the way two argument you can interact here again it will be also string type password also string type so you need to give the proper data type now you could see error messages there so you cannot use test right so you have to use test cases again attribute and here you need to write uh, um, pass this two thing okay so what i will do i will pass the value here so as it is a string so maybe suppose say user name one and then password one that is the combination one one I want to pass okay so similar way tomorrow uh, right I need to run it for three times so what I can do I can change it to two here I can change it to two I can change it to three I can change it to three now based on our argument right it is matching so I have the test cases with two argument both are string here and matching with the method right this is the uh, string this is the string this is the this is matching with username username 2 3 like that password that is matching with password 1 2 3 and now you could see that username I want to add it for the email field and password value uh, password particular variable I want to pass it for the password right now if you ex try to execute it what will happen it will run for three times test method 1 will run for three times because we have used the test case attribute three times and we want to provide three different combination of data that is the way in case same method you want to iterate for couple of number of times right you can instead of multiple test case you can create or apply the test case attribute for that particular method you could see test two is executed then username three and password three combination will be executed okay and you could see here the test one got executed for three times right that's the combination test two ignore test three ignore okay 
now say tomorrow uh, let's uh, uh, let's clear it also you could see here in the last if you go to the last right every time you could um, able to see right that is the url is coming here sorry test to ignore but every time you could see that is the title is getting popped up here in the printed out because i uh, after opening the url i want to print out the title every time it is printed out now you can remove it and now tomorrow i can run it for five times so that is the way simply you can change it here right you no need to update anywhere only you can write the copy that uh, item as a test cases and you need to pass the change the parameter value uh, and the iteration you can do it similar way so in case you want to go for 10 times you need to copy it for 10 times right and now if you run it so test method one will run for five time with username one password one username two password two username three password three username four password four username five and password five combination right now let's try to run it and let's see how it is happening or behaving and every time it will print the uh, title of the facebook page in case you want to write execute in the other way in case you want to uh, uh, your objective of the test case is different you can also add it in your script and in case tomorrow you need to interact with five five fields so you need to add five argument and based on the data type you need to give it in case it's integer you need to give within the without double code in case it's string you need to give the double code in case it's a decimal or float you need to give with the decimal value now you could see here it is running for five different combination user id password combination right and it executed and that is the recent test method five you could see it is five passed and test method three three combination we've given by completely ignored and test method three is ignored total, total nine method out of which five passed and four ignored here right you could say that is the holistic from that particular class now if you go to the console and if you click on the test you could able to see here right total nine uh, found right and that executed for the five times so facebook login sign up came for the five time and you could see nine tests run five passed and four skipped and what is the keep recent test to skip with that facebook value test to skip with google value test to skip with the apple value and test is normally skip so that is the way right it is giving you a lot of advantage instead of using test you can use test cases and where you can interact with like n number of variable with the proper argument value so that's all from today's session guys thank you